Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Vargo 52 in Warzone, kind of going over the stats, basic class setup, how to unlock, all that type of stuff. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're brand new and want to find your way back, subscribe with notifications on. And you can unlock this in three different ways. One is obviously the store bundle, which I wouldn't recommend because it's currently bugged. It won't actually allow you to have the weapon in game. Um, and then you can unlock it the traditional way, which is through challenges. And you could you have to get a thousand damage with a rifle in 15 different matches. And if you do it in Warzone or Modern Warfare, you can back out of the matches once you hit a thousand damage if you do it in cold war you got to go ahead and complete the matches then the actual third option is just to do it in zombies triple pack a punch assault rifle um 750 kills pretty straightforward on all three of those and once you get it currently the level is bugged so even though it still says level one, you still get access to all of the attachments. And hopefully that helps you out. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour if you're backing out or doing the zombies method. So I was already able to test the damage profiles. Take a look at the, the, the ADS speed is pretty slow on this thing. Uh, it comes out to about almost 500 milliseconds. It definitely feels slow when you use it. I got the rate of fire where you go ahead and shoot. You keep track of the ammo. Pretty straightforward stuff. I wanted to show you the recoil pattern because it kind of reminds me of a little bit of the Farah and the XM4 and the TTK is very comparable, which we'll jump into. So I think it's gonna be a monster in the regular Battle Royale or in Rebirth Island, um, but it just depends. Obviously, Vanguard Royale, you can't use the weapon. So this is without controlling the recoil. We'll go ahead and shoot it. It just kind of goes up a little bit and then to the right. Even though it looks like a decent amount of recoil, it's not really that hard to control. You just pull down and you're mostly good. It has a little bit of the sideways, but most part, pretty easy. Now let's look at the stats. Here's the Vargo. It has an 800 RPM, which is slightly faster than the XM4 at 721, which is a good thing. That usually means it's a little bit more forgiving. If you miss a shot, it's a lot shorter to get on the next follow-up shot uh, because the bullets are coming out significantly faster. So I think in that regard, it's going to be a little bit better than the XM4, which I believe is already a monster in terms of being able to use it for long range, um, even though the recoil is challenging for some players. Then we have the headshot, neck shot. It ends up having a higher neck shot versus the XM4 just recently got nerfed. I don't know if that's why they nerfed it to kind of balance it out. And you can see the close range TTK is right around 600. So that means it is viable as a sniper support. You do need two headshots to lower the TTK to 525, but with it being a super low recoil, I think that you still get the option to use it at long range. The TTK on the XM4 at long range is 749. If you look at this one, it's 750. So it's right in line with those particular weapons that we've already used for long range. Uh, the AK-47 is right around 700 if you hit all your shots. The Bren is right around 800, 750, 700, depending on what range you're at and, and all the, the shots and stuff like that. So overall, this is a super meta weapon we'll, we'll have to wait and see if people enjoy it and use it and it feels like low recoil and people are actually able to beam with it but me personally the recoil feels a little bit like the xm4 and the farah it's a little bit slow on the reload like the farah but the ttk is very good um, as you can see there. So let's go ahead and talk about class setups. Pretty straightforward for Cold War weapons. The TTK is fast enough and viable enough to use it as a sniper support or a uh, close range option. So we would build it kind of like that route. So we go Guru Suppressor, we'd use the Microflex LED, uh, and then we would go ahead and go with the Speznats. We'd go with the 45 round, and then we would go with like a Serpent Wrap. That's normally kind of how you build the SMG build or sniper support. Um, you could actually put on a stock if you want to put on this one. I'm pretty sure that'd be like the RPK stock or whatever. Usually they use kind of the same names. And, and that's kind of how you'd build it. If you want a little bit of extra mobility, but with the slower movement and stuff like that, you'd go with the Serpent Wrap. And this would kind of be your sniper support uh, build. And then when we want to go with long range, we can go ahead and go with this. 60 is still going to be okay. Some people are skilled enough or lower game mode, you can use 45. But 60 is the way to go. I think this one currently has a little bit of a bug though where you know when you reload the weapon and it delays on actually putting the ammo in. So you do have to wait a little bit, but I'm sure that'll get itself fixed out. And then we got the 3X with the Task Force Barrel. And that is pretty much the build you would go with. Hopefully this helps you out. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching as always. Have a great day.